Hey, welcome back to this brief video series on uh, the C64 OS Toolkit. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about um, the dynamic memory management uh, of the toolkit. So, you know, all of this stuff is taking up memory. So, but if you wanted to know how much memory you have uh, free, you can uh, click on the status bar to toggle its mode. Here we have the disk status, and over here we have uh, how much memory is available. So this is saying 56 pages are free. Um, this can also be put into kilobytes mode um, via the configuration of the, the system. And if we double click on this available memory, um, we get this uh, memory uh, utility opens up. So 55 now is available bec because this is now open, taking up an extra page. Um, but what I really want to show is this, is this is showing the layout of the memory. But if, uh, if I make this, um, this uh, split view wider, you can see that it's rewrapping the text in the background. But what I want to show is what happens as we get a little narrower. So I'm going to uh, resize it. Okay, so up to now we're still we still have 55 pages of free. But as I get even narrower, whoops! Now I only have 54 pages free, and you see that this block has just uh, become freed up, and this one here has been occupied. So as I go a little narrower. At a certain point, okay. Now it says 53 pages are available, and whoops, the memory has moved over to here. Go a little narrower still, and okay. Now it's 52. It's moved back to here. Go narrower still. You know, now it's 50. Narrower still. Now it's 48. So um, the reason that this is happening is because um, this class is. At, as it's being resized in real time, it is dynamically um, rebuilding the line link table. Um, and the more lines there are, the more memory it needs. So the narrower it gets, the, the more memory it uses. Um, but that is an example of dynamic memory management going on under the hood.